Namaste, this is Meghla here from Pujas.in. So today I want to talk to you about the Vidya Ashes Puja because some, uh, I had a client who inquired about the child's uh, education. Okay, so and it's again Q&A Tuesday. So we are here just to discuss your problems and our solutions. So basically the Vidya Ashes Puja is of various uh, categories. So there's no such thing like, uh, okay, Vidya Ashes Puja is equal to this Puja. It's not like that. It's always connected to what you need. So it's totally customized. So assuming that you have a child who is doing the uh, primary education and the secondary education so and they lack concentration, memory power, grasping abilities. So what we do is we do the Shraddha Sukta, Medha Sukta and Saraswati Sukta Homas. So what happens is immediately the child gets interest in studying. So then they will get the concentration and then whatever they study they are able to grasp well and then that reflects on their um, performance also in the exam. Otherwise, I have uh, clients ca coming and complaining to me that, you know, my uh, child studies for four hours, six hours, they wake up at five in the morning, my children are not able to perform at all, they're not getting good marks. It's all not nothing to do with marks, it's all about your intellect, it's about your mind, your grasping abilities and these devatas, as per the Veda, the Shraddha Sutta will give you the right kind of uh, frame of mind to sit with and then the Medha Sutta helps you develop your intellect and the Saraswati is basically giving you blessings of Goddess Saraswati. So all these things are required. See, finally, uh, we believe that no matter how much effort you put, without God's grace, even a blade of grass cannot move. So, and if you have God's grace, even if you are drowning, you are always going to get some help. So that's exactly what we are trying to do. We are trying to bridge the gap. We're just trying to help you uh, how to connect to divinity through the uh, pujas or astrological means. So astrology is basically giving you direction. Okay, if I go in this direction, this is going to help. And then. Taking the directions help you do make the next move, which is like a puja or a sadhana or visiting a tirtha kshetra or any of these things that you can do. So this uh, kind of a vidya ashes puja is very good for especially primary education, secondary education, higher education. All the three is very good. But for people who aspire to go abroad and all, we have different pujas because this may not be the best for them. It may be a combination of this and something more because that's when we we have to compulsorily look at the horoscope. And for this puja, no need to look at horoscope, you can do it for anybody, it's very beneficial. Within uh, 48 days, you can see your child uh, totally engrossed in, your, uh, in the um, curriculum and then definitely performing better. Okay, but however, for the higher education, we want to see the horoscope, we want to see who is the lord uh, of the fifth house, we want to see whether there is any connection about going abroad, so the lord of the eighth house, how is he placed, how is the uh, lord of the ninth house placed, all these aspects we will look into and then we will also suggest second thing is that yes um, i also had another question because it's connected i'm just clubbing it in one video so i had one more person asking me whether we are able to give direction what stream of education the child can choose we can definitely give a choice the decision has to be the child's definitely because what happens is nowadays there's so much parental pressure and peer pressure that you know students don't really want to they don't have the clarity of mind on what to choose and they're most of the times forced into a, a particular stream and then uh, there is always a break in the uh, education and then they come back. So we, what we can do is we can give guidelines, options of two, three, four kind of uh, streams which will suit them. They can choose whatever they want and if they want to do something apart from this which is not conducive to their horoscope, let's work it out because I think uh, they will need some boost of good luck uh, that is nothing but God's grace and some pujas which will help them uh, you know, go against the tide because as per the destiny, if that is not what they are destined to study and if they still want to study, then they need that additional push and that we are ready to give. So, uh, what I want to say is that these uh, homas will definitely help you, you and your child especially because when your child is at peace and your child is performing, the parents are the happiest more than the children. Children just perform play and then just they, just, they are very happy with their friends. But uh, these uh, things will just you know make the parents very happy and more than anything else i feel that uh, one more thing is that if you feel your children have too many friends if you feel they're too distracted all these pujas will bring them into focus it will not cut their relationship with somebody but what will happen is they'll know where to draw the line they'll know when to when to party they'll know when to uh, go out with friends they'll know when to study and they'll know when to uh, focus on education when to focus on career what to do when to do all these things they get clarity because saraswati devi will give them that kind of clarity and the Medha Sutta will give them that kind of intellect and sharpness. Shraddha will give them that kind of deep... Um, Shraddha is a very deep word and uh, if I say faith, it's a very shallow explanation for the word Shraddha. But what I want to say is most of us are Indians and we understand what Shraddha is. So what happens is that the deep uh, dedication you get for your education, for your learning, for your Vidya. 
So that is exactly what is going to happen when you do these three pujas. So anything more you want to uh, ask about this, you can always ask me and I will get back to you on that. So I hope you are very happy um, asking questions and I am also extremely happy answering them. So uh, we let's keep the Q&A Tuesday going. So just bombard me with more questions and I will get back to you. Okay, I wish you all the best. Bye.